Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Pigments. This is video 23, and today we are talking about the reverb module in the effects section. If you click this drop down menu, it is going to be the fourth one at the top. So we have our traditional dry wet knob here. So, how much reverb are we going to be mixing with our input signal? All the way to the bottom, no reverb. All the way to the right, just reverb. Moving on, we have the size, and this is basically going to be the size of the virtual room. Higher makes more diffuse and lower makes more metallic. And it's very nice how this graph kind of changes with the changes of our knobs as well. So if we double click this back to default at noon, moving on to pre-delay. So this is basically the time of the reverb. It takes from the input signal till the time we actually hear it. So this is the delay time. And then all the way at the bottom, it's basically instant. And all the way to the right. Takes a little bit longer for that reverb to fully come in. Let's double click that down for default. Now we have our decay. Now this is basically determining how long the reverb is going to hang around for. So if we have a high value like this, the reverb is going to hang around for quite a long time. I think you get the idea. Shorter values is a shorter reverb tail. Double click that back for default. Now we have dampening. Now this attenuates and shortens the decay of high frequencies. So all the way here at the left, we can notice that those higher frequencies kind of last a little bit longer than you would think. And then all the way to the right, they get dampened. And we can see that here on the spectrum view as well. Double click that for default. Now we have our stereo width. So let's go all the way to the left and see what that sounds like here. basically a mono reverb all the way to the right. It's a more open stereo type of reverb. Now, a very important control here is the filter. So this high pass and this low pass. So if you're having some low end stuff going into your reverb and it's getting muddying, then you want to reach for these knobs here. So this input low pass is going to be all the way up at the top at 20K and this low pass can go all the way down to 30. So if you want to cut off some of that low end, go for this input high pass and then kind of maybe bring it up until some of that low end goes away. So if we play some notes here, let's maybe go for a little bit lower pitch here. Let's drop it down by maybe an octave here. And you don't want some of that low in there, so this is where you want to increase this uh, input high pass. As we can see, it sounds a little bit more tinny, but depending on how much you need, that's what this is here for. And then for higher notes, if you want to cut off some of that high end before it goes into the reverb, Sounds a little bit more round, a little softer. That's the knob you kind of want to reach for as well. And then also in this default menu here, we have quite a couple different presets. We have Cathedral here. Let's get some unison here to make it sound a little bit nicer. And let's go with an extra saw wave. And let's bring our volume down just a little bit here and see what this sounds like here. And then we have echoes. We have hall. And then we have room. And then we have slap. Keep in mind, you can always save your own with a save as and create your own presets for all these different modules in the future. So moving on for our next videos, we're going to be discussing the distortion section. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.